Hey guys, one of the biggest problems that you run into is trying to find something to put your butter on. Did that come out right? Sure, yeah. Okay. Well, the way I say it is you need a vehicle for the butter. A vehicle for I the butter. I need a vehicle for the bread. butter. Other and than bread. Bread, crackers, and pancakes. English muffins. Although I make English muffins and pancakes and waffles wheat-free, sugar-free. So I can put butter on that. But I stumbled across this recipe. It's actually called a biscuit recipe. Um, it's not reminiscent of a biscuit. It's actually like a little piece of bread. And um, the texture, it's like four ingredients. Texture is really cool. It's very bready. As a matter of fact, I don't have it right here, but when this recipe posts, I will have worked out um, the measurements for a loaf pan because it rises beautifully and um, you can slice it. And I think it's, it would make awesome toast, even sandwich bread. It really holds That's together good. nicely. Yeah. And we have the grass fed butter. Yeah. It's actually cows eat the grass, not the butter eats the grass. <laughs> the grass fed butter. It's on that. Mm hmm. You're going to like this. Mm hmm. Is it hard to make? What do you think? It's very simple. Right. Um, the texture is really great. And you yeah. know, when it comes down to it, bread doesn't have gobs of flavor. It's a vehicle for the butter. Let's so many people like bread and muffins. So, you and, know, you should. Sorry, I didn't what? mean to interrupt you. But I was just going to say another thing I love to do with bread is dip it in like an Italian oil. Mm. Warm this up and soak it in some Italian oil, oil or something, it would be a good solution, a good alternative. Absolutely. <laughs> Charlie. So <laughs> check this out, how to yeah. make it, and I think it'll be very easy for you. Yeah. Hey guys, I just recently did a survey and I found out the number one thing that you want is to know what to eat. Okay, you want examples of meals. So I created a series of recipes that you can get, which basically show you how to combine the foods in the right portions to do ketogenic and intermittent fasting. They're totally free. All you need to do is click the link below and sign up.